Topping our news tonight, San Patricio County leaders talking next steps on whether to continue an economic incentive agreement between the county and a local steel production facility. The reason? They say the facility isn't bringing in the economic boost they expected. Our Josh Maxwell is here live to break down what all that means. Josh. Mike, it's called a 381 agreement. What it is essentially is that it means counties can negotiate directly with developers and businesses to provide incentives to come into our area, but there are conditions they have to meet. Now, San Patricio County Judge David Krebs told me that the company Arcelor Middle came to Portland in 2013 and signed a 381 agreement, essentially which it expired April of this year. Krebs alleges that the termination is because the company did not hold up their end of the bargain. We would start phase two to extend the abatement before the end of the contract. They did not do that. There was a clause in the contract that they were supposed to employ over 600 people out there. They're way, way short of employing 600 people over there. Krebs says that due to the low economic turnout, the county has two choices on the matter, deciding whether to let the facility apply again for an abatement that would not be a 381 or if they want to discontinue it altogether. It was an abatement to help them get started in their business and stuff. And really, yes, the taxpayers do pay for that because, you know, these companies are not paying taxes when they come in here on that abatement. And some of the smaller facilities or companies that want to come in here, you know, we can't give it to them because they don't meet the criteria. Krebs tells me he has been looking at data from the Corpus Christi Regional Economic Development Corporation since the abatement started that does show the facility isn't holding up their end. Now we did re reach out to Arcella Mattel, but did not hear back as of news time. Mike, back to you.